Yes, the caissons are rolling along today, but it's it's a, it's with a note of sadness. You know, we talked to Ricky Ellison, the founder and chair of the Missile Defense Advocacy Alliance, all the time about the importance of protecting our country and protecting uh, our allies from from missile attacks. We're not talking about weapons; we're talking about defense. And there was a a a, a highly decorated soldier just about to take command of the United States' highest missile defense command this week. And it's really, I mean, you know, Ricky and I, we talk about football, we talk about happy things. Today we got to pa- talk about the passing of a true friend and a true American. Um, Ricky, I know it's with sadness in, in your heart that we got to talk about Major General John Rossi. Tell me about this man. I'm sorry, Ricky, get, do I have you, Ricky? Yeah, I, I think he's in there somewhere. Ricky, are you there? I'm here. I'm sorry, my friend, I had the wrong button pressed. I, I'm just so sad uh, with, the, with, with the country's loss. And I, I must admit, before I got the uh, notice from your office yesterday, I did not know much about Major General John Rossi, but you certainly did. He was, he, he's one of the very few and rare that we have in the world, I think, and in the country, that, that can lead and has the courage and respect a true warrior. And it was a, just a devastating loss. You know, it, it, it seems so ironic to me that he was on the cusp of, of assuming this command, and 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 what a what a what a dedicated this guy has been all along. I mean, isn't it so nice to 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 hear about such a hero in in these trying times that we are going through? Yeah, no, it, 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 he's one of the best of the very best, and I've been around great men in my life. He is certainly one of the best we've ever had. It's so ironic, as you said, he was going to be a three-star general yesterday and take over the biggest command of our country in the defense and uh, missile defense, um, advising the president, advising the PACOM commander, the STRATCOM commander, North Camp commander on this issue, and he passed away suddenly. You know, it was it was. I find it ironic that he's he's really a young guy. I mean, you know, he was born in 1961. Um, you know, and and that that puts him. Uh, uh, right where he should be. It, it, what did you know about him? I mean, what was the cause? What happened to this guy at, at such a young age? He, he, he was he was in top shape. He, and as a general officer, you get physicals every six months. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with him. So this was just a fluke. I, they're doing an, you know an autopsy now to understand it. But he was in his home alone, and he was and his wife came home, and and and, and it was just tragic. It's wow. tragic tragic position you know when when something like that happens and and you know i mean this guy uh w- once i read through your you know your you know your statement about him i, I was moved and I, i've never heard of this guy before i mean and then i find out that uh the guy was a big giants fan <laughs> a, big, a big new york guy um he was uh he was he was a guy that really liked his espresso and to talk story in other words it it, it looked like Round, round hole, round peg. That this guy was perfectly suited for that command, and, and he was put in the most difficult. The chief of the army put him in Fort Hood after the shootings that happened there to to get that right, and he did that. He, he's been in Korea and changed the whole attitude of how you fight on We Fight Tonight. That that's his attitude. I love that. Perfect. I and love that statement. Everybody go yeah. going strong. He he was in CENTCOM in Iraq with the former chief of the army and some of the critical situations there. He, he's a phenomenal leader. He's a no-bullshit guy, and he would have done wonders for our, our missile defense community. You know, l- let me let me ask you this. Um, one of the things that, that I did not know about um, was what happens in a case like this. Here's a guy sitting on the cusp of having that, you know, that that command change, and now obviously it'll, it'll either have to stay where it is or something happens. What 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 is plan B in a case like this? Well, that, the military does that. They, that's what they're trained to do. Mm-hmm. Day one, they'll have another officer step up and and take take command of that. They'll make that decision, but that, but it certainly, I don't think will be as good or close to. Good. I shouldn't say that, but it's probably it is the truth that that we lost someone at this magnitude. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I did want to make sure that we that we that we said something about him because not not only. Do I feel what you said? But when I saw that thing that says we fight tonight, and then you mentioned you know his his wife Liz and his family and and all of that yeah. kind of stuff, it, it seems like we all ought to just stop where we are for a minute and and thank him for what he did and 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 wish him you know a fond aloha as we say here in Hawaii. Um, 
Um, did we lose him? No, I yeah. gave you that moment of silence. Yeah, and I appreciate that. R Raphael shrugged and said, "Did did you did you did I press the wrong button? No, I didn't. That was that was a pause. Anyway, my friend, I I, I want to I want to thank you for letting us know about that. And and like you, I, I agree that you know everybody ought to just um, just swallow one time tough for this guy. He, he he gave all he could, and then all of a sudden he's gone. That's that's just shocking. Yeah. Yeah. All right, my friend. Thank you very much, Ricky. We'll talk soon. Okay, Mike. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, we're on the fight. I look forward to talking to you soon. Yeah, Thanks. you bet, my friend. There you go. Very emotional, Ricky Ellison, the founder of the Missile Defense Advocacy Alliance. Check it out at mdaa.org. It is 642. Um, you know, right out of the blue, this guy was born in 1961, and so he was not. He's not an old guy. When you know, when you take a look at uh, 2016 and 1961, uh, he was. Um, he was um, 55 years of age. Wow. And by the way, what Ricky said is true. You just never know. I mean, here's a guy that was in, the, in, in top shape. And at that level, you are given a physical every six months.